Ooh. I think I need to go portrait. <laughs> but you do. Well, it's been a beautiful day with some real clouds today. It's the 24th of August. Oh, and I've got a new phone. So I'm just trying to work out how to use it where well, the phone was completely full up <laughs> and ancient. But glad to see. And still uh, see the light. And I'm just going to share a little bit of light that I found in my work for the return and presence of Jesus Christ. And so looking at how the tribes of Israel form the consciousness of love, love as that whole relationship between two people, a healthy relationship with love and faith and discernment <clears throat> for righteousness, for consciousness, for friendship, that's brotherly love, um, which has perhaps gone a little bit too far loving in these last days. <laughs> Needs to be a balance of, uh, of not uh, hating each other and going to war and competing so much, but uh, also to uh, to love the greater good of the whole community and protect their women and children uh, for the unity with the spirit of love. They're not to be divided, not to be stressed actually because it's that fear that stress which is the division and then that's how we attain to the, the cup of love and many people do live that way um, and so the cup of love over here Zechariah Not by a military force, nor by power, but by my spirit, Jehovah of armies has said. And Jehovah, Yahweh, meaning he who causes love to become made whole and one in us. And so that cup of love with the seven spirits discerned from Revelation 2 and 3. Oh my gosh, and there's a cloud up there. May we get our clouds back and may the kennel kind of draining be stopped. Um, <clears throat> love, faith, yeah, discernment, righteousness, for consciousness, for the brotherly love, for communion, for that union with the spirit of love, that whole spirit of love. And the witness. Or two olive trees, that's what's there. The angels are covering them up. So, but if that's two whole lives, if we look at the capital O as whole, yeah, have a look through scripture and read it in that way. And it's all about us attaining to be whole and one, not divided, not stressed, not cut short, not beyond man made linear time. Real time is whole and whole and one. And so all of this work in order to attaining to the peace of the whole spirit of love anointed, which is the meaning of the most high name, whether it's Jesus Christ in English, or Yeshua HaMashiach in Hebrew, or Isa in Arabic, or uh, Yahua, it's uh, Jesu, or yeah, there's different spellings all over the world, that's very language and tongue, but healing is out of the consciousness of the love and so in 
my book that I've written on the healing uh, consciousness of Christ and I write as a therapist and a, um, I give all credit for healing to, to, to Christ, to God. But our body is made to be able to heal and as a therapist then um, love has to conquer fear and that's a nervous system change a change from our sympathetic nervous system response to stress and fear and injustice oops I'm going to um, to, um, to our parasympathetic nervous system where we have peace and the full spirit of love we have the joy we have the the faith and the goodness and kindness and mildness with patience and self-control not to sin or hurt another I add in there or abuse another in order for peace to exist and that's our quiet conscience so is our quiet conscience, is that the Holy Spirit? So the Revelation Order, Tribes Order, of Spirit to Jerusalem, it talks about the 144,000, which actually we could look at that as being made whole in mind, body and spirit, so a negative made positive by listening to God in order to make us one. <coughs> Anyway, so Je Judah, Lord is so Jehovah, he who causes to become, that's what it means. I'm going to have to put this down, okay, <laughs> I'm on my, on my uh, laundry thing in the garden. Oh. So you can see how he who causes to become anointed and the whole spirit of love for joy faith self-control with patience kindness goodness mildness for peace and yes this is on the revelation 12 tribes and so it's judah see lauded to see a son and gad good fortune happiness Neftali, my wrestlings, the fight against the sinful inclinations or between what's right and wrong. Uh, Manasseh, making forgetful, which is forgiveness. Simeon, hearing, active listening, understanding, compassion. Levi, adhering, committing, baptizing. Issachar, the rewarder, the love and the peace, the goodness. That's when our body changes nervous system, just as in the twinkling of an eye. As First Corinthians 15 tells us, uh, Zebulun is to have tolerance and goodwill towards others, including our enemies. And Joseph is jar increased, love increased, peace increased, understanding God's will for us. And only the truth will will set us free. And so, um, yeah. This is what all of my work is is, is on, and um, yeah, I'm just um, <laughs> a woman with faith in uh, being able to heal my my own life and that of others. And uh, the new heaven is described as gemstones, so I do understand crystals and. Uh, I do use crystals in my healing work with um, amazing results, but it's that translation of what they mean. And that's uh, to have the courage to face those hurts, pains and fears. courage and the faith and the faith being the assured expectation of the things hoped for so we hope for healing we hope for things getting better the evident demonstration for reality is not yet beheld it's actually a positive psychology uh, 
and a setting of the direction that we want to get to to go for healing. So yeah, let's create heaven on earth for everybody, not just the rich. And so, yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, so my book I, I look at Israel and the Holy Spirit of Love Anointed, the translation of the gemstone. So when Jesus Christ at Luke 19.40 says, the stones will cry, cry out. I listen to the stones cry for Jerusalem and Jerusalem is peace. And the chakras through the body are just a reflection of the energy of our endocrine system, of our hormones, whether we're in love or fear. And uh, yeah, people who don't understand healing don't seem to understand. Understand that. Galatians 5.22 contrasts the fruits of the spirit with the traits of the flesh and of course the fleshly traits are marketed and drip fed through sin, entertainment, music, even the frequency of music was changed after World War. Mm. I think I think World War Two changed from four three two which is the sort of natural um, resonance of the universe and life changed to 440 which is that again it's everything to stimulate the adrenaline and the adrenaline is made fashionable in vogue because that's actually fear it's also the source of all addictions so when you can understand that and empower yourself to to know the difference of love and fear inside your body, then we can make the choices to attain to the fullness of the spirit of love, which is what God asks us to do. And love is not a cortisol stress hormone. And peace is not a cortisol stress hormone. None of these are cortisol stress hormones. So the importance of the insulin factor to stabilise our blood. I, um, yeah, I struggled with blood pressure <clears throat> um, for many years, and <laughs> I, I, I overworked as a, as a female, as a mother, and uh, that's why I stand for the mother love now, for mothers to be supported, to be able to be there in in contact with their children in their their former years. Oh, there's another there's another cloud. It's so nice to see clouds and blue sky. <laughs> hmm. Why have we got those today? Hmm. So we need justice to be upheld for peace and safety, don't we? We need this uh, corruption that is making people ill in order to be controlled. And um, are not allowed to be free in the wholeness and fullness of spirit, where actually everybody is working together for the greater good anyway, because that's what spirit does. So, there we go. I do our, our amazing bodies, which actually should be body. <laughs> yeah probably why I didn't manage to get a publisher because I've got a few spelling mistakes but anyway there we go our amazing body I love bodies living and actualizing dreams self-evolving for self-knowledge to express ourselves creatively for life not just clumps of meat not just clumps of cells not just physiological functions not just anatomical structures with complex latin names complex they are complex we are only flesh, we are not. And 
We have two magpies for joy. And I have a seagull who visits most days. And um, lots of little birdies who all seem to get on very well. I try and grow a few bits and bobs, bits of food and flowers and different things. I'd like to learn more and uh, and I do think we all need to have gardens and allow people to, to learn how to at least produce some food and have control over over what goes into their foods and to grow organically and naturally to recycle all the fruit and veg to make new soil and um, to teach our children to do so and to protect our children from or to protect our children's innocence which seems to be very lost in these last days and end times so for the children for their innocence to be protected for their peace for their joy for their laughter their happiness their genuine genuine joy and fascination with life and hope and faith and to have that protection of their parents and that mother love for a lot longer than it's being allowed now and to know that the fullness of the whole spirit of of love which is the meaning of the most high name jesus christ is returning and justice will be upheld for peace and safety because this is god's promise first thessalonians 5 and so the justice system also has to be made just in order to be able to uphold justice and peace and safety. I think that that's where we're at with a lot of lies and betrayals and corruptions and division, all for the love of money, over the love of people being utilised in these last days. And Jesus Christ has a promise. Hallelujah. Well, God has a promise. That fullness of spirit will be returned for love and for light to prevail. Enlightenment of love. And yes, people sin and make mistakes and hopefully learn from that because actually that's what causes the grief, hurt and pain and sickness and ailments and illness. When we learn that, it's easy to to uh, to turn away with salvation, for salvation. And Romans 7, 7 says, Never may sin be the law. The law is the power against sin in order to make it known, in order for the peace to attain to spirit, the whole spirit of love anointed, which is the meaning of the name Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit of love. The Holy Spirit of peace. So we must know what peace is in order to attain to it. Hallelujah, thanks be to God. Our Heavenly Father, our Father, who art in heaven, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Amin, Shalom. Namaste.
give us this day our daily bread. <laughs> Did I say that? I can't remember. Anyway, we know that the love and light is returning for enlightenment of love anointed, for love to be made whole and one in us, in our body, which is the temple of love to dwell. God bless. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God.